I'm going to say this again, everybody, especially Lockheed Martin, who came here and shot the messenger. Okay? I've talked about shooting the messenger and how that's a bad idea, right? When I joined the Army, they shot me with that neural lace, and 9-11 happened. Okay? So shooting the messenger is a bad idea. So stop attacking me with your technology, and then I'm going to go into... Everything that you need to know, DIA, okay? Yeah, it, 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 I, you know, I, I get a little freaked out, too, because obviously I'm the messenger, and the messenger is taking the serious, right? Because it's serious, and, and you're lucky to have the messenger, is what I'm getting at, because if you didn't have the messenger, you wouldn't have a clue that any of this has taken place, okay? So... In those time-stamped emails, D.I., where I had already talked about Sikorsky and how Lockheed Martin bought Sikorsky from Russia. They bought the Sikorsky from Russia. And then I talked about how there was artificial intelligence inside of those helicopters, right? So you had the symbolism there, the pinky and the snowball symbolism. I told you when I woke up in the middle of the night, I said... The two stones couldn't conquer each other. I'll take a polygraph to this. It freaked me out. It was like I wasn't even home. I was. I was home enough to know that I said that, but I was out of it, okay? And in my heads-up display, two stones were crashing into each other, okay? These are all in time-stamped emails, DIA, okay? So I've been sending you all this inf intel because I'm, as a concerned American citizen, I believe it's important for you to get this information because in Pulp Fiction, remember Marcellus? Mar means E.T., okay? And E.T. gave us this artificial intelligence and quantum AI and all that many years ago, right? Uh, in 1964, to be exact. And the Army had it first, or Skunk Works had it first. The Army had it. Everybody ended up with this quantum AI, and I've been trying to tell you the dangers of it. So I'm going to give you another example. So I see in my HUD all of this information about Sikorsky and everything. And then lo and behold, and I've already talked, and the, the main concept about talking about all of that was, is uh, ET can hack anything AI. And I've told you that I've seen two independent voltameters sitting next to each other. And they would both read 666, just to let me know, hey, I'm hacking your AI. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm hacking, it wasn't AI, but your independent voltameter, right? <laughs> so I had a, a natural radiation meter that would do the same thing. I was out in my boat in the middle of the bay, and the wind and the depth and everything on the, all the little different nodes on the screen would read 666, right? And that's just a number... I don't, I don't think that means it's Satan. I, I think it's just a number that lets you know, hey, I can hack all your shit. <laughs> Literally. So I have time-stepped emails talking about how Lockheed Martin purchased Sikorsky from Russia for symbolism, and then you had the President of the United States in the White House with a Soviet supermodel, and the docking and all of that, and then the two stones couldn't conquer each other. I woke up in the middle of the night with them crashing into each other. Then the guy that predicted that President Trump would win crashes in inside of a Sikorsky helicopter, the Mick Dick. That symbolizes that you had Russia and Lockheed Martin together, right? That crashed, right? So what I'm getting at is this artificial intelligence was telling you in that crash, I mean this uh, this extraterrestrial technology was hacked, it hacked the AI that was in, those Sikorskys have AI in them, okay? They fly themselves. This is a fact, you can look it up. The the 76B, the Sikorsky 76B, the, the Elite Series, which I'm sure uh, Kobe Bryant had top notch, top of the line, the one that'll take off and fly itself because it has artificial intelligence in it. ET not only made sure that Kobe Bryant, because I said if you ever do this, make sure the pilot's a sexual, sexual deviant or something, because I don't like killing uh, innocent people, right? So, lo and behold, now these are all in my time-stamped emails, <laughs> okay? 
Kobe Bryant's helicopter crashes. Of course, all the other people on the plane probably weren't sexual deviants, but I, <laughs> that ain't my fault. It crashes. What's that tell you there, D.I.? That should tell you that E.T., Marcellus Wallace, I'm, I'm Marcellus Wallace, I'm selling you that E.T. exists, can hack anything A.I., okay? Now here's the new one that's popping up in my heads-up display. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? An F-35, okay? And this one's perfect symbolism. It's going to symbolize how Lockheed Martin committed suicide, okay? And, and then the pilot's going to live to tell about it, and you get it? So the pilot's going to be flying an F-35, which also has AI in it. That's the Harrier, so you got to have AI in there for your stabilization, and it does. The AI controls all kinds of stuff on that aircraft, so it'll it'll lift straight up, lift straight down. It's a Harrier. So this pilot is going to be flying in the F-35, and E.T. is going to take over the aircraft, right, like on 9-11, and he's going to crash the F-35 into Lockheed Martin's U.S. Cyber Command Center, where they uh, sit there and hack the minds of the entire public in the United States to election metal and turn them into slaves and things like that. That's what Lockheed Martin does. Uh, that's what's wrong with the Democratic Party. So what E.T. is going to demonstrate for you at some point in the future is he's going to crash an F-35 right into it because the pilot's going to lose absolute control of it. And this time the pilot's going to live because you can eject in an F-35. So as the plane's about to hit the U.S. Cyber Command building, the pilot's going to eject. And then the next thing you know, they're going to be asking him questions and then, or whatever. Why, why did the pilot, why did an Air Force pilot fly his plane into U.S. Cyber Command? And the Air Force pilot's going to be like, I didn't have any control of this damn thing, okay? I didn't fucking, there was no control. I, I lost my stick. It was a dead stick. The thing started flying itself, and it flew me right into the U.S. Cyber Command. And it blew up the U.S. Cyber Command with a Lockheed aircraft symbolizing that Lockheed Martin committed suicide. And the pilot lived to tell about it this time. You see how that's brilliant? <laughs> so the pilot's going to tell everybody, look man, that plane had a mind of its own, all right? Everything went haywire. I, I just ejected. It's all I can do. The ejects manual. AI doesn't drive the ejection, okay? He just ejects. Lands and goes, swear to God, this thing had a mind of its own. You see how that symbolism is going to be the one that really gets you, Lockheed? <laughs> You're going to find out who fucked you all this time while you were hacking the public's minds with your illegal technology. And it was a school right here. It's a school for kids who can't read good. In Zoolander, what, a school for ants? Anybody that didn't realize that this school is for ants can't read good. Get it? <laughs>